Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of Red River College uh, and specifically the Civil Engineering Technology Department, home of the Architectural Technology Program. I'd also like to start by thanking CANBIM and Building Smart uh, for bringing this great event to the province and to the college. What a great opportunity for our students, faculty, and industry to network uh, at a level I'm sure will benefit everyone. For those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Chris Urbanski. I am the program coordinator for the Architectural Technology Program, the Construction uh, Management Degree Program. And I'm also an instructor. Uh, I teach building information modeling to the Architectural Technology students. Uh, I'm here today to specifically talk about uh, our new Architectural Technology Program. Um, this was officially announced in January of this year and started, started its inaugural delivery uh, this past August. Uh, this, as you can see, this program maintains the strong architectural content uh, of the building design program, which some of you may be familiar with, uh, which it now replaces. Um, the program maintains that strong architectural content, uh, but now includes advanced BIM studies that directly address the need for specialized skills uh, for our ever-changing industry. Uh, students will gain valuable experience in all aspects of the architectural project. As it applies to building information modeling, you can see as students progress through uh, the pro as the students progress through the program, they will be exposed to BIM studies, where they will start by learning the fundamentals of applying the technology and processes to architectural projects, leading to advanced um, advanced methods. Uh, advanced methods of utilizing building information modeling throughout the entire building project, uh, which we believe will prepare the students uh, and the eventual graduates for the in what the industry requires. Now, these BIM-specific courses are not the only exposure uh, BIM uh, exposure to BIM practice students will receive. Uh, BIM technology training will find its way into the supporting courses uh, such as structural detailing, mechanical electrical detailing, uh, and estimating and quantity takeoffs. Um, we believe that um, BIM will play a role in all of these courses and, uh, and will be part of, um, of that uh, training. Uh, this will provide the students with the experience in all aspects of the building project and, and how BIM can uh, Technology can improve coordination, collaboration between all stakeholders on an architectural project. Co-op. Our co-op program has always had a positive reputation for providing industry with students that are looking to gain valuable experience in between their years of study. With the architectural program, we have made one specific change. Unlike our civil engineering program, where all students receive a common first year of studies before they move on to their chosen disciplines, the architectural technology program has, has made changes to the program structure by shifting the specialized skill set before the students leave for co-op. We believe this gives the students the fundamental skills required that will make them employable in AEC firms. If you or your, or your employers uh, would like to have any more information on the skill set of this new student profile, I encourage you to contact me and I'd be happy to talk about it. So what's next at the college? Uh, architectural technology is not the only uh, path that we're exploring. Um, BIM Innovation Lab. Uh, plans are on the table for a dedicated BIM Innovation Lab space where students will have an opportunity to explore and research emerging technologies and software, hardware, and processes as it applies to BIM. We also see this as a great opportunity to partner with industry uh, to provide a lab that is accessible to those industry partners that may not have direct access to those tools while providing a cutting edge learning experience for the students. Expansion of training. At the college, we recognize that building information modeling is not limited to the architectural practice. We're always exploring pathways to bring BIM concepts to other program areas of the college. Uh, this includes areas of, such as construction management, uh, structural engineering technology, and as um, Mike Watson spoke to earlier, uh, one of the biggest opportunities, the trades. 
Uh, I'd also like to add um, uh, to to what Raphael was speaking to. Uh, we we discuss we we recognize the need uh, for facilities and operations management uh, and the training that those individuals will need to utilize the software uh, to, uh, to to meet the requirements of um, of um, uh, uh, of their their roles in in, uh, in industry. Now it's not uh, say, sorry. Now it's safe to say in the near future there will not be a scarcity of jobs in the in, in this industry, uh, but there will be a scarcity of skills. At Red River College, we are committed to delivering those needed skills to our students so that they can find their greatest success in their careers. I'd like to thank you for your time. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, or if your organization would like more information on what we're doing with respect to building information modeling technologies at the college, or a better understanding of this new graduate profile, I encourage you to contact me and I would be happy to talk and to, to share all that with you. I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight and enjoy the rest of the evening.